Okay, this is a review of the Marmot Flex 50 by request. It's a 50 liter pack, great for weekend trips. Uh, if you pack light enough, you can probably get, get a full week uh, week's worth of stuff into it. Um, I haven't seen any other uh, any other reviews on YouTube, um, so I'll go ahead and give you this one. It's a 2008 uh, season pack. Uh, when Marmot came out with it, they also came out with a 65 liter version. Um, it's pretty simple design, very clean pack, doesn't have a whole lot of uh, external pockets, um, really only one, uh, it's this front kind of turtle shell pocket, um, it's got full length zipper on the side, almost full length, and you can really fit a lot of stuff in here, uh, great for rain gear, or extra outer layer, food, uh, kind of quick access stuff. You've got a lot of a lot of capacity in that front pocket, um, and that's access to the side zipper. On the other side, you have zipper access to the main compartment. I've got a sleeping bag in there just to kind of give the pack some form. But um, so this is great because you know if you need to grab something real quick that's in the middle of your pack, uh, you don't have to dig through the top. You can just get to it real quick uh, through the side. Um, <coughs> Also on the side, you've got, on each side, you've got elastic uh, stretch pockets. Uh, and as I said in my other video, the one drawback about these is when you get the bag fully packed, very difficult to fit a Nalgene bottle in there. Um, they are great for, you know, just quick stash items, maps, uh, camera, snacks, whatever. Um, you could put tent poles, or I sometimes put my trekking poles in there if I'm not using them. Um, Two compression straps, uh, one up top, one down in the bottom, uh, allows you to, if you have large gear items, uh, such as a sleeping pad or tent or whatever, um, you can strap it to either side. It's got those compression straps, both sides. Uh, also, it has two straps on the bottom, great for uh, fixing large gear items. Uh, I usually put a tent down there. Um, but works well. The other thing I really like about this pack is the material itself is nylon, but it's reinforced with Kevlar thread. Um, so all of this gray material that you see has like a almost like a it's like a rough texture, almost like a sandpaper. Um, but it's that reinforced um, nylon reinforced with Kevlar, and I love that the whole bottom of the pack is. Um, designed that way, you know, because this is where you see a lot of packs start to wear out just from being set down on the ground, you know, if you take your pack off or if you're in camp, set your pack down the ground, but, um, you know, this is really durable down here on the bottom, uh, which is which is definitely a nice feature. It's also got, you know, on the sides and on the lid. But, um, as for access, top loader, uh, it does not have a detachable or floating lid, it's just those two two clasps here in the front. Also has an additional uh, clasp. Comes out right here. And then it's a double draw cord design up top. Um, kind of keep everything secure, keep water out, whatnot. Um, <clears throat> this front front area here, it has uh, a, a tunnel stash system, which is kind of like a shove it pocket. Uh, it's basically just a sleeve almost that goes all the way through the bottom of the pack and you could put uh, you know poles or I guess you know if you're using this as a mountaineering pack maybe ice axes could go through there uh, I use it just kind of as a shove it pocket I'll put like a really lightweight outer layer I'll just shove down in there and uh, that way if I need to grab it real quick I can just pull it out um, but that's pretty pretty cool also on the top you've got a very very large um, zippered compartment up top here and you can see that you can get quite a bit of stuff uh, up top here so things that you need to get quickly you know rain gear whatever you can you can store up top and that pocket goes all the way down into the front of the lid uh, down in here so there's really a lot of capacity um, for what you can put up there which is one of the things I like about it because um, you can fit a lot in this pack, 
but it's all very, very clean. You know, there's not a whole lot of stuff hanging off, which is how I like uh, like to set up. Um, in terms of suspension, this is pretty unique. This is Marmot's uh, airflow technology, which we've seen uh, on several pack uh, designers, several brands. Uh, but basically, the idea is that the actual frame suspension of the pack is curved away from your spine so that you can get air flowing uh, through there and designed to help better ventilate you and keep you from getting a sweaty back. Um, this pack does an awesome job. It's really kind of what this pack was designed for is warm weather or hot weather hiking. Um, you'll notice that the back sheet here is very minimal um, on the padding. It's got a mesh, primarily mesh, um, material here. has a little bit larger uh, lumbar pad, which is nice. Um, the hip belt is kind of moderately padded. It has a split design uh, with, with mesh to allow excellent ventilation. Um, shoulder straps are the same way. They're not, they're not crazily padded, but um, you know, they're, they do the job. This is a comfortable pack. Um, I don't really have, occasionally if I'm hiking for a couple days, the only thing uh, where I get a little bit of discomfort is up here where um, this, this crossbar, it has a crossbar uh, aluminum stay design. You have two aluminum stays that form an X uh, through a central hub, kind of like a tent pole. This is, this is like a tent, tent pole design is kind of where this, this technology came from. But you also have two stays that are... Uh, inside the fabric here that run the full length of the pack uh, in addition to these aluminum crossbars there. But um, like I was saying, up right by my shoulder blades, right where these aluminum stays join the edge of the pack, um, sometimes it can get a little uncomfortable there. But for the most part, um, it's, it's a comfortable pack. It keeps you cool. It really does an excellent job of ventilating. It's kind of the trade-off. Less padding, but it does keep you significantly cooler, um, I've noticed. Um, it's got <coughs> load lifter adjustment, adjustable sternum strap, um, shoulder adjustment, it's got your hip belt adjustment, it also has hip belt adjusters here on either side, so you can lengthen that. Um, it doesn't have an adjustable torso, which is kind of a drawback, but you know, I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm about 6'3", and this pack fits me just fine. Um, you know, I can adjust enough to keep it comfortable. Also, another feature I like down here on the hip belt, you've got two mesh hip belt pockets on either side. Um, once again, great for um, items that you need to have access to quickly uh, that you don't want to dig through your pack to get. Camera, uh, you know, whatever, map, compass, um, snacks. So, uh, yeah, all in all, this is a great pack. Um, in terms of pack weight, I want to say three pounds, eleven ounces, uh, is what I read somewhere. So you know, it's it's pretty light. I'm sure you know you can always get lighter. It seems like there's always something lighter out there. But this does the job. And for what I paid for it, um, I spent about $190 on this pack. I bought it through Backcountry.com, um, and you really can't beat it. it gets the job done. It's durable, um, and really no complaints.